Hey guys, welcome back to Trip and Farm Four. Bob, I'm your host, Trip Coach, and let's jump right into it. So today we're gonna be revisiting this product-centric versus customer-centric uh, approach because Forex, in his recent AMA, um, that was the impromptu on Thursday, he dives into basically. Uh, I don't want to read into it, but essentially his excitement for um, V3 and the innovation behind it and his aggravation for lack of a better word of drip and if i had to break these down i would say drip is customer centric and animal farm is product centric now i'm going to play some clips from him and then i'm also going to draw the parallel to a multi-million dollar company that is product focused as well and how that has fell flat in the crypto space so you got to understand your audience and it's something that i'm actually in and i mentioned before but First, let's take a listen at what Forex has to say in this AMA. So we got a couple clips that we're going to play. First is um, about the um, excitement and all of the information going behind the marketing campaign for V3. It is delivered for promotional reasons. So one example of this is that PancakeSwap has agreed to do a co-promotion with us when our V3 goes live to effectively announce that we have built a range optimization tool for their V3 deck. That is something that would be very big for us and absolutely worth pursuing. They do not want to uh, plan that until we actually have a launch date. Also, we have secured a major influencer marketing firm and we have a pretty wide list of very big influencers that are ready to start promoting, but we do not want to waste time and resources of them promoting without having a launch date to actually promote. So the current plan right now is that in the next all right, so that was his uh, two big things for V3. So he's got this uh, partnership with PancakeSwap, which is definitely a big deal, not gonna downplay that. They are the largest decks on Binance Smart Chain. So uh, when they had the little bunny promo on their Twitter with the drip on its logo on his shirt, everybody was speculating and that drove some excitement and hype. Uh, nothing came of it, but they do carry weight in the space. So definitely don't wanna ignore that. Um, second is he said the co-promotion co with um, influencers stuff like that i don't know how that's gonna go we've seen that already and um that hasn't really brought any capital into the space especially from a marketing standpoint when there's nothing launched so there there's a fine line between marketing a launch date and marketing a launched product and i don't know exactly what that time frame is in DeFi. you can get away in tradfi with having you know, viral stuff going out and announcements and all this stuff leading up to a tech project product launch, like the, the PS6 or the new Apple iPhone 22. It's like, yeah, you can have the buzz around that because it's built up some kind of history and expectation. But in DeFi, the attention span is so much shorter. So I personally, this is my humble opinion with what I've seen and my marketing background, I don't believe projects do well with launch dates in DeFi. They have to actually already be launched um, unless you can capture a shorter window with some hype and some success. Maybe in the bull market, you can get away with it better, but in the bear market that we're in right now, I think they have to already be launched and that's going off of historically what we've seen, not only from our projects here in the Drip ecosystem, but if you've watched any other projects in the crypto space over the last couple of months, um, a lot of them have fell flat with large run-ups. But let's go into the next piece where he explains the details on why we need this and what his idea of a successful market campaign looks like. Going to provide a major utility to Binance Smart Chain, a major utility to PancakeSwap, and in my opinion, and the opinion of the DAO, basically anybody that has significant capital in this, is that the launch of it matters and it's important and we don't want to announce the launch date and then without having any time to promote it go live and then have an underwhelming launch because no one in the space knows about it then when we go on and, and, and go on these interviews with big uh, influencers and major platforms they're going to look at it from the perspective of oh wow this is a major utility this is massive let me check it out oh it went live last week why is it not blowing up right so i mean just with any kind of uh, tech innovation or any major tech product ideally you want two months of solid promotion with a launch date around it we don't need that much 
because we already have an existing community and we're already somewhat known in the space, but we need to have at least a few weeks. So again, I do agree that with standard traditional tech, having a launch date and a run up is important. Again, I, I will, I'm curious to see how this plays out because like I'm still learning about the marketing and stuff like that in the, the DeFi space, but the, I'm going to go ahead and say what I think is going to happen. And then we will come back and revisit this and see. So one, I think we're going to see some TVL increase from when triple D launches. And then I think we'll find a floor, whatever that is. And then I do not think we will see a very substantial increase um, with V3. So I do think something will happen. We will get some in increase, but I don't even think we'll get back to the uh, triple triple digits of 100 million or above TVL. That was what we had when we launched V2 initially. We were sitting around 100 million, 150 million for quite some time. So I don't even actually see us getting back to that um, in this bear market. Because again, I just don't think that the people are looking for this utility. It's, I'm not arguing the validity of the utility or how important it is to have a range optimization tool on V3 farms. I just don't think DGENs actually care. So that the energy is not there in my humble opinion. Now, next, before we break into this hundred million, multi-million dollar platform, let's listen to the sentiment of how he referred to the drippers or people not interested in the animal farm. Let's put it that way. I'm not going to say they're drippers. DDD. So we know that if drip and DDD stuff stays on the shelf and we don't have a launch date for it and it's not launched yet and we launch Animal Farm V3, we're going to get a bunch of idiots in the chat and all over the place, basically, uh, when DDD, blah, 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 instead of recognizing that it's a completely different team that are building the two of them and the two have essentially nothing to do with each other. Working on Animal Farm V3 or launching it takes no attention or resources away from Drip or DDD. But, you know, uh, people are stupid. And anytime you do any kind of announcement about Animal Farm or or anything related to that, it's just, um, you know, when things that have nothing to do with it, right? So, um... So that was piece I was talking about regarding sentiment. So he said, when you have a bunch of idiots in the chat and people are stupid. So what he's referring to is uh, basically, in short, the attention that people want on triple d so yes it's true different teams and maybe it doesn't take any focus away from it but it's not what people want so this is where i get back to this product focus and customer focus so he's clearly focused on product that would be the animal farm and the utility and everything else even though as he just mentioned there'll be idiots in the chat quote unquote that will be asking when triple d so he hasn't realized or doesn't care i don't know what you want to say um that the energy is directed towards drip related product and drip related success but he is focused 100 percent on just products so with that i want to show you an example and i've mentioned this person multiple times before so i got in this project when it first launched the ceo tom billu so this is a literally self-made multi-millionaire so this is a person that actually knows how to run businesses he built or he was essential in getting the first his uh first business up which was a software tech company made it to multiple million dollars got ready to exit that then built quest from the ground up with those same individuals turned that into a multi hundred million dollar platform in three years and then exited that and now has built impact theory and that is already built at multiple hundreds of millions so he clearly has the ability to scale and build um businesses and he knows what he's doing and he's also got a army of people and resources so in his uh project that he created i'm gonna look at some of the stuff he has gotten uh what do you call these artists from disney and in marvel and he's gotten uh game developers from riot and from blizzard um all sorts of stuff so the man has the resources so i want to just give you his pedigree before i show you that even his project has fell flat in regards to uh hype so at the peak of the NFT craze, right after Gary Vee launched his project, Tom comes out with his um, Impact Theory Founders Keys. Now here again is an actual product with utility. So with these keys, you get access to private dinners with him. You get access to real physical assets. He was giving away like iPads and stuff like that, like actual things, real, real things. And also um, he has a school, Impact Theory University, where he's got like, uh, 
people in there teaching classes like Jim Quick for brain health and uh, Ray Dalio on finance. Like, so real legitimate multi-million dollar people teaching things in this university that's created. So this is not just a meme NFT. It actually is a utility NFT. So product focus 100%, right? So it has all this amazing utility. When this thing launched, and I got in at launch day because I thought he was gonna do what uh, Gary V did. These were the tier three keys and the floor now is 0.74 ETH. It launched at three ETH, three ETH. And when ETH was $3,000, so you're basically buying a $10,000 key, which right now is worth less than $2,000. That is crazy. That's the floor on the top tier. And this gives you like unlimited access and free mints on other future NFTs. He's minted NFTs with, um, or given access to Neo Tokyo and some other big names in the space. So it has true utility and there's two other tiers below that, but I just want to show you the top tier and how pretty much it's, uh, worthless, I'm not gonna say worthless, but the speculation in the space is what's driving, um, the utility. Now we come over to his Twitter, like across all his platforms, he has over $1.5 million. This is project Kaizen, which is a utility built on top of that it, and uh, it founders key. And there are other projects. So what he's trying to do is become what he calls the next Disney. So he said, if Disney is the happiest place on earth, he wants to be the most empowering place on earth. And he's building out actual IP that can be utilized like real game, IP, physical toys and stuff. Uh, shirts, sweaters, you name it, all sorts of stuff. Now, what's unique about this one aspect of this entire thing is he built the first fully rigged 3D NFT image, if you will. So most JPEGs are, or most NFTs are just, you know, JPEGs, but he actually built a fully 3D rigged NFT that can be disassembled and reassembled and then used inside of Unreal Engine. So it's actually a game in a metaverse that he's building on top of this. Every single one of these NFTs that you mint um, has multiple different attributes and you can pose the character and everything else and then take a picture and that becomes your NFT. But the headgear is one NFT, the jacket is an NFT, the uh, sword is an NFT, I'm sorry, the um, equipment, the leggings and the shoes. And all these different NFTs have different attributes and all this other stuff, it's crazy. You have to actually install a two gig installation file on your computer in order to actually mint these NFTs. So the point I'm getting at in all this is this is groundbreaking what he's doing. Definitely think he's going to be successful, but he was unsuccessful at reading the temperature in the room and getting a lot of hype and excitement on his project. He had 88, 86,000 people in his, in the discord. But when you come through here, you'll see about a hundred people are engaged in any of these, um, posts and this is proof again, like CEO, multi-millionaire, built tons of companies, access to other multi-millionaires and billionaires. And because he is product focused, and he does actually listen to the community as well, um, but he has a vision of where he wants this to go. And it's like a 40, 50 year roadmap. He doesn't really care if you're unhappy with your key or your utility not being worth money because he's all about making the value of that asset. He says, it's like trading baseball cards. So he's like, what's the best way to make a baseball card worth something? Well, it's to get the player to be just kick ass and then the card is worth something. So he's designing the player and all the attributes and everything behind impact theory. So I said all that to prove or to state that there are projects in the space that are just falling flat from a monetary speculation um, asset. And that's because the energy in the space is for degens. So coming back to the animal farm, I believe that that is going to fall flat as well because he's building an amazing utility, but he's not reading the temperature in the room. He's trying to make DGENs investors. And I don't believe with the 90% tax on dogs and then the um, low payout on pigs, people are going to come in here. They would much rather put their capital on another platform and then just sell the uh, farming asset and make money that way. But we will see. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys another project and get your thoughts on it. So after hearing what Forex said and um, his focus and whatnot, I want to know what you guys think in the chats. 
regarding the future of drip will he continue developing for drip is it something that we the community have to pick up um what do you think will happen when we get the b3 launch that's not gonna be until september but where do you see the tvl going by then and what's your thoughts on product and uh customer focus um customer centric and product centric focus all right that's all i got hope that provides a value and some clarity if it did smash that hbo special help brother out like subscribe comment down below and until next time lift daily and achieve your impossible See ya. Want to pay your in real life bills with crypto? How about send crypto directly to anyone with a bank account? Spritz Finance is a decentralized solution to be your own bank and connect your crypto earnings to real world bills and payments. They do not take custody of your assets and allow support on multiple blockchains and Web3 wallets. Sign up below using my referral link and you will get $50 back when you make your first $50 bill payment with crypto. Additionally, I will be using referral bonuses to airdrop, donate, or burn based on community feedback. Sign up now.